Hi, I'm Pastor Mark. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, it says, Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments, because you know they produce quarrels, and the Lord's servant must not quarrel. Do you know people who seem to always be quarreling? Are you someone who easily falls into this behavior? It seems that all around us today, there are those who think it is their role and responsibility to tell other people off. For some, it appears to be a badge of honor and a game of one-upsmanship. But listen to what Solomon says in Proverbs 17. Starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam, so drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. Some people argue to boost their own sense of self-worth. Others feel like they simply cannot be disagreed with and so press every point as if everything is worth dying for. If that's our attitude, life becomes a never-ending battlefield. But we are advised both in the Old Testament and the New to avoid quarreling. Does that mean you can't have an opinion or that you shouldn't stand up for what you think is right? No, but it does mean even when we disagree, we must avoid being disagreeable. We often have no idea what a peevish, combative spirit costs us in terms of goodwill and good reputation. If you have a tendency toward being argumentative and always insisting on your own way, remember how very little it costs you to respect someone else's opinion, especially in those areas that are not of eternal value. Will Rogers used to say, People's minds are changed through observation, not argument. Let others see you living out the truth that you believe and not arguing about it. That will make a difference for the better. Well, that's it for today. God bless you, and I'll see you in church on Sunday.